Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Dawn here. So today I have um, lots and lots of stamps that I do need to put away. So I, I've just got so many, it's ridiculous. Um, but I was waiting on a new order of CD cases. So what I thought I would do is I, was, I would come on and actually go through my process of doing this. I already have a video up um, but it was when I very, very first started, so it's not the best of quality videos. Um, so this is how my CD cases arrive. Um, so as you can see, I, I have the, the, oh, the centre bit in them. Um, so that is how they come. Let me just move these off to the side. So all I do is, so where this edge is, if you just get underneath there, they do lift out um but what i'm going to do normally i would put these in the recycling um but i'm thinking i might do some altered art with them um as i think that might be quite cool so then you left it with this just a blank cd case um and this is where i store my stamps so like i said i do get them with these in i do take them out and then i have the cd case so then what I would do is I would then get um, a stamp set, so um, for example here, um, and then I would just go through, take all the stamps off here, uh, because sometimes um, one sort of sheet won't fit into um, one uh, CD case, uh, so they, then you, sometimes you have to use two per sheet can be quite tricky um, so then we just put them in like this if they come with packaging which I haven't got left the packaging to these ones normally I'll rip it up um, I'll rip off the the title of what they are oh, it's really really stiff there we go um, so for for instance this one um, that's all to new I will just rip across there fold it up and then place it inside so I know where those stamps have come from so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera because I do have a lot here that need to go into CD cases so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take out these center bits each um, sheet of stamps will have its own CD case some may have two because of the size of them so I do know that for instance this one that was free in a magazine uh, the Dreamcatcher set that will definitely need two cases um, so yeah so like I said I am going to go off camera I will do all of these and then I will be back and then I will show you how I record um, so how I sort of catalogue them and put them away in my stash so I will be back in a sec right okay so I have done that and I actually have hang on see if I can do it oh, lots and lots and lots of CD cases ready to be catalogued so um yeah I didn't realize actually how many I had to um, put away I also have background stamps now these ones don't actually fit in the CD cases I'm quite tempted actually to look into DVD cases for these uh, just for my background ones just so that it keeps them nice and yeah so I will be looking into that um, right okay so I have to the side of me all the acetate that came with the stamps now I keep it all because it comes in very very handy uh, so here's my one with all the pictures and words and stuff and then this one is my clear one so all I do is I just go through because you can use these as windows you can use them on shakers you can use them on anything um, you know you can use them in mixed media um, and you know I just don't like wasting so if I can use it I'm going to use it um, so let me see I might actually have to get a new um, folder for these because they are getting quite full so I will have to use them um, so these are the bigger ones I'll put that one in there so normally I would cut them, but I'm just wondering if I can get away with folding them in half. Yes. 
so that's them ones put away so ready to go so i am actually going to look at a few projects in which i can use these and we won't show but that's fine because um we will come back and we will use these uh, so then it will be able to show and then with the clear um acetate um so i just put them in this one Oh, I actually have some wordy ones in this one. And then the bigger sheets, because I do tend to get quite a few bigger sheets, um, I do actually cut these down. So I will um, cut these in half and then they will fit in there. Because I've never needed a full A, um, A4 sheet before, so um, I'm quite happy to cut them down. So... I think that's all of them. Oh, I forgot to put the dragonfly away. Um, and when you've got these sticky bits on the back, because they are a bit annoying, so all I do is I cut these out because you can't really get them off. So I just sort of do that. And then I will get rid of this bit, but I will keep these two bits. Um, oh, and I just find that um yeah <laughs> i forgot what i was gonna say okay there we go and um, because you can't get these off and then you can't see through them if you've tried i've have tried to get them off and you just can't do it so um i just do cut them up i don't waste any of my acetate because this stuff is expensive so um because of the way that i store my stamps so far i've never had to buy any acetate so i'm i'm pleased please please pleased right okay let me put i've just noticed my camera's sort of off on a weird angle there we go right so as i was doing my stamps um i have all of these middles left over now i did order um 50 cd cases so i do in theory have 50 of these and i'm thinking these would look really really cool as altered art so doing some sort of mixed media on the front now um what i was thinking is um maybe giving some away so if you would like one uh, to do some mixed media art on to um to do something with um just message me i'll leave my email in the um description box if you email me your address uh, dependent on how many people i get um will depend on how many you get but you'll get at least one um, and I think that um, that would be quite cool. Um, and then I would love to see what you create. So if you come over to my Facebook page or tag me on Instagram at hashtag shiny silver treasures, I will be able to see. But I just don't want to waste them. I've wasted them now for um, the last few times I've ordered. So I think now um, I'm actually thinking these would look really, really cool jazzed up. And why not share the joy? So if you would like um, one of these sent to you for you to do some mixed media on to to do something with it then let me know and i will get some sent out to you okay right so once um i have let me just move these so once i have done all of my cd cases like i have here i then get my um stamping platform out i also get my a5 white card stock so like this and I also get a black ink as well so let me find if I can get it out without and this is oh it won't come out of the jar I really wedged in like really wedged it there we go okay so um, I'm going to use my archival ink today. So all I do is just move these just a second. Um, so let me just pop them up on there. Everything is falling everywhere. Okay. So I get my card and I, I'll put my card stock into, um, into here. So let's move them and just pin it down making sure that they don't affect oh 
like that's going to take me forever to so it's got like a little ridge around so I'm just making sure that these um, don't sort of clash with it which they don't I'll then get my CD case um, and I will place all of my stamps out of each CD box um, and I do um, put them in first because like I said some of them you don't have um, some of the stamp sets that you get from magazines um, or you buy you might need more than one CD case so I find that if I if I do all my CD cases first and then do what I'm doing here um, I just find it so much easier uh, so let me just pop these in like this um, and as you can see they're not all going to fit on I don't think without getting caught no um, so then I just and when you are doing the CD cases um, I'll show you on this one make sure to use both sides um, because you, you get more out of it and um, on some of them I mean this one is actually three stamp sets um, and if I have a matching die then I do put the matching die in with the stamp so this was a one stamp set which fit perfectly and then I hit I had this bit that was spare so I did have just this dragonfly and this um, die to go with it and I got that off the lovely um, Crafty Alley Creates um, and then from the Dream Catcher set which is I think it's um, let's have a look so from this set of stamps I only I had um, just a few left and I thought well I need to put them in somewhere but I didn't want to get a full case out and because I had space in this one I did put it in so this one has three sets so it's just about utilizing the amount of space that you have within the CD case so um, when I was looking I do have this one stamp from craftbox.co.uk but I do get normally a stamp every month in my craft box so this will eventually be full and I know that this one is just for my craft box my other one is actually full so it wouldn't fit in okay so then we just put that on like that um, get my ink wherever I have um, put it I've, I've literally just had my ink there it is um, so then I get my ink and then I just oh, um, ink up my stamps um, and I like to use the um, stamping platform because if you don't get a good first impression the first time, it doesn't matter because we can go in and do some more and keep doing it until we get a really good impression. I think I might actually need to re-ink this uh, ink pad. So I'll have to get my ink out. So just like this. Oh, isn't this I love this stamp set so much it's just absolutely gorgeous so I am going to put more on just to make it a bit more darker so just like this um, and then I do have a microfiber cloth um, so I'll just wipe off my stamps or I'll use baby wipe with um, I'm actually trying not to use baby wipes as much because I found that I do use them quite a bit um, so I did buy some just microfiber cloths I actually got them from Primark for a pound and I got five so when it gets really dirty I'll put it in the wash um, but also to clean my stamps I do use um, rubbing alcohol because I find it gets the ink off lovely and it's also how I clean this so where there's ink just along here you can't really see in the video um, it comes off straight away using that so now I've stamped these ones um, I will put these ones back in here like this um, and then I'm just going to pop the ones that haven't been done onto there a second then I'm going to turn this sheet of paper around And then place these just along the bottom edge. Um, if I find that I need two sheets of paper, then the, each paper, when it goes into my folder, just gets the same number so that I know um, which um, CD case to pick out. And then we're just going to ink these up. 
like this. And again, I'll do it until that they are really nicely done. Um, and then also, so I'm not wasting paper, I will turn over my paper. Um, so let me just, so this is one CD case done. So then I'll put these back in. And because I know this was my first one, I pile them up in order that I do them. So this one will sit at the bottom. Um, so then when, once I've done that, so that is that stamp set um, all stamped out, ready to go in my folder. I'll then turn it over. So I'll do it this way so it's all the same way. And then I will get the next um, stamp set. And again, I will start stamping all of these. Um, and it's a good way as well to see exactly what stamps you do have um, because I know that um, I have so many stamps now um, you know I wasn't using them this is how I came up with this idea is because I wasn't actually using my stamps as much as what I wanted to because the thought of just going through everything that was sort of um, like all the different stamps that I had um, trying to find something I just thought oh, I can't be bothered um, so I wouldn't use them and then um, my husband was sorting out his CDs one day because he, he um, stores his CDs in metal boxes um, because he uh, is a huge music fan he um, and film fan and everything else so um, he actually um, had a bunch of CD cases so I said to him please could I have them instead of him putting them in the recycling um, and he gave me them and it worked a treat and I had enough because uh, he had a load up in the loft as well because um, when he first started doing it he did just store all of his uh, CD cases in the loft and then if we ever needed them they were there um, um, but I very luckily got them. He didn't have very many left, unfortunately. Um, so I have had to buy them since. Um, and then I did the same with my CDs as well. I put them into um, a big case. So my CDs are all together. So my CDs really are only in a, like, they're quite small. Um, and I use iTunes. I very rarely use my CDs these, these days. So everything seems to be um, on iTunes. Um, and they were just taking up so much room. So that's how it came about. Um, and that's how I, why I started storing them the way that I did. Um, it was okay when I only had about three or four stamp sets, which I'd had for years and loved them. And then when I got into paper craft, I ended up with just absolutely loads. And then obviously when you get magazines, um, that butterfly needs more on. Um, and then I got the magazines and the magazines obviously help with your supply of stamps. Um, so yeah. Um, and it now when I'm doing something and I want a stamp or a sentiment I just get out my um, catalogues as I call them, my books um, and I go through and have a look to see what um, which stamp I would like to use and then I look for the number um, so at the, I'll show you in a moment um, but I'll, I have a number on the page itself and then I have a number on the CD case and then that tells me exactly um, what stamps are in which CD case and it just find it so much easier um, so yeah right just pushing these in so these are the ones that we need to finish off and I find sometimes I can never get them all back in how they originally were so uh, hopefully I will today um, but it's just about playing around with stuff okay that one there right so I'm just going to turn my paper around um, like this I wonder if I can get sort of a bit more in there we go um, and then I'm just going to put these on so that and these will all fit on one page which is really good to know but like I say, if they don't, I just do two pages, but they both get the same, uh, the same number. Right. Ooh. So then, 
we'll ink these up and put these onto this page. Um, and I decided to do A5 um, sort of catalogues because they are smaller and I find them um, easier to store within the cupboard um, where I do keep my stamps. Um, so I just find it a lot easier. Oh, I love this stamp set. How gorgeous is this stamp set? And that would go, I don't even see it, there's this gorgeous cloud with the rain. That would go gorgeous with the Weather Girl um, Digi stamps from Julia McNeil. I didn't even know I had it. And that's because I have been meaning to order um, CD cases for a while now and I haven't. And because I haven't, these haven't been catalogued, so I haven't known that I had them is quite sad <laughs> okay right um so let me just put these all back in here like this so they're in so that'll just go off to the side then all i do when i get them out so these are my catalogues um so i do have three I do, like i said i do have quite a lot of stamps now i have run out of small stickers so I, what I'll have to do is use um, tape and uh, bits of paper. But um, these, it's sort of, so all I need to do is, I was using that the other day, um, is just look through um, all of my different stamps. And as you can see, quite a lot of different ones. Um, I used that the other day as well. Um, and then at the top of each page is a number. Um, and then I know that if I go and find that number um, in that CD case will be um, that uh, stamp set. So, and then, so here's some more, so quite a lot. Um, I do have, so in here is all of my Christmas stamps. Now my Christmas stamps I do separately. So these are under C's, uh, so it says C and then a number. So that's like C25, um, C23. Um, and these are, so that's my Christmas number one um, CD case because um, they get stored somewhere else. So I just have, because I don't have that many, um, I just put them in this wallet and then I go through this wallet and then I have a case with the CD cases in and then I just grab out what I need. Um, these are also my wooden stamps that I have that I very, very rarely use um, just because um, I, I don't feel very comfortable using them. They're quite, um, I don't get a good impression with them. So they're just so, I am planning actually of unmounting them um, and remounting them on some um, of the foam stuff so that I can put them in a CD case. These ones don't, this one doesn't fit in a CD case. Um, I've used that quite a few times actually. Um, and then I have other bits that um, I've got. I've got my alphabet ones. Um, so yeah, so these ones don't, uh, these are just my wooden ones and it says wooden mounted so I know that they are in my drawer so if there's anything in within these. So I love this uh, Christmas one which I will be using um, soon hopefully uh, to make some backgrounds. Um, so yeah, I know, I know exactly whereabouts it is in my craft room. Um, so these are these craft box, uh, my craft box box ones, but I didn't get a very. My ink was running out, so I had to sort of, <laughs> um, yeah. As you can see, they were running out on quite a few bits, but yeah. Um, so that's how I do it. Um, so what I'll do is this is a new book. Um, so where are we? Uh, so we are on 170. Let me just move them out to the side. So what I would do is I will put these in here. So it just goes in like that. Um, and then I can see both sides. I will then get, um, so in this case, because I don't have um, any sticky labels left, I was actually meant to buy some. Oh, do you know what? Do I have some in here? I'm dropping everything as per usual. No, I don't. Okay, I thought I might have done, but I don't. Right, okay, so we'll just use this piece of paper 
Um, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it into strips. So I'll just do one and then we'll just do and then tiny little ones for the CD cases. Right, like that. Um, I need a pen, so I will get a pen. Um, so I know we've got 170 and 171 and then do the same on here so 170 and 171 um, I'll then get my sellotape if I can do you know what my desk if you saw my desk today I had it all tidy it looked gorgeous it really did and now yeah it's an absolute mess and I can't find anything so get some new sellotape out so then I just get this 70 and stick that up in this corner bit and then I will find so I'll get some more sellotape I will put this little 170 in the middle of it I will then get the coordinating stamp set which is the one with the owl and then I'm actually going to stick it lengthways because it's quite a big number so I just place that on the spine of it like this and then and I use sellotape even when I'm using my sticky labels I use sellotape because I found that they, they do come off eventually whereas with the sellotape they stay on so and then there you can see I have 170 on there so now when I want this stamp set I know that I need to get my CD case out of 170 so um, and that's really it um, so I will do this one which is 171 so I know it's the other stamp set that I've not done yet so we'll stick that on like that and then um, oh, I've lost it of course I have I'm on camera so why wouldn't I lose it right so then let's one seven one turn the page and then this will I'll probably stick that in that corner so I'm not I'm not hiding any of the stamps um, and that is it that is how I store my stamps um, and how it came about that that's how I store my stamps um, oh. so I hope that this has been quite useful for you and you found it um, quite educational is that the right word yeah maybe yeah um so yeah i really do hope that it's helped um you know i mean you don't have it's finding your own way of storing things this is how i find and i find it so much easier um you know i have little catalogs now um these will just go in the cupboards my cupboards are by no means in order which doesn't bother me at all um i did try and keep it in order but no it's just not going to work i'm actually tempted to put it in order of uh, themes so i have like all my background stamps in one place and um, because i physically like because you buy stamps all all year round should we say you can't put them in order number wise um for each theme so animals um you know i can't put like those two together um the numbers unless you have like some sort of system with a, a letter or anything so and um, that's why it doesn't it doesn't really um bother me whether or not um they are in order in my cupboard as long as i know which one i need to pick out that is all i care about oh and look i've just found the 171 um, so that is it so I am going to go now I'm going to uh, finish the rest of my um, stamping my stamps um, and get them put away and hopefully actually get my room tidy for today um, but I do hope this video has helped and um, yeah and I hope it's given you some ideas on storage thank you so so much for watching please do subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hopefully I'll see you very very soon in my next video but until then happy crafting bye